And welcome once again to Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for this segment. And with me today, uh, I have with me Karen Espero. Yes. Who is with, she's a community outreach executive with Ally. Trusted Allied Home Care. Trusted Allied Home Care. This is all new to me, uh, although I've heard about different facets of what they do, but I just happened to be at the, uh, the senior center when you were giving a, uh, a free lunch to all the seniors, and I'm, I'm yeah. one of them. So I, I met you for the first time, and since I worked at the Nevada test site uh, sparingly as uh, for the Yucca Mountain Project, I, don't, uh, I can't get any benefits because I didn't work there long enough, and I understand that, but you stuck in my mind as this is something we should tell the people here because they are living so close to the Nevada test site in Yucca Mountain that they may have been affected by uh, the after mats of the, the nuclear testing. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about what you do and are you, are you from Vegas? Yes, I live in Vegas, but I come out here to Pahrump all the time. We do have offices in both locations too. And that's across the street from the uh, Patrick Park? Yeah near where Lana Lang Lanes used to be, if you remember that little deli, if you're old enough, but anyway. <laughs> uh, it's, our, it's our little community center out there. We have folks coming out all the time. We host bingo, and we're basically an open door for any former worker if they have any questions for their claim okay. or their benefits. All right, so how do you become covered by what you do? What, what uh, do I have to do to become covered by your, your process? Yes, so this program, um, the Energy Employees Occupational Illness Compensation Program Act, it's really long, but basically um, they provide um, in-home medical care, coverage of medical expenses, and compensation for former um, Nevada test site workers or Department of Energy workers. Um, you know, a lot of the former workers have sustained some lung conditions, cancers, mm -hmm. so um, how do they qualify for, for the program? Basically, there's a, um, a process with the Department of Labor to claim your benefits. Um, they'll take a look at your medical history, go through a series of medical tests, and also review your um, your work history with a test site, you know, right. what they did, what they were exposed to, and what years they worked. Now, if we go to your, your site online, mm -hmm. you'll probably give us the, the, the steps to go to uh, start getting the ball rolling with the Department of, uh, was it Labor, did you say? Yeah, Department of Labor. So you have steps to get us started on that? If yeah. We, okay. We can help, you know, connect folks to an authorized representative that specialize in kind of putting together these application for for former workers. So if you are a loved one who worked in the nuclear or uranium industries and became mm -hmm. sick, you're entitled to compensation up to four hundred up to four hundred thousand. Plus free medical care. Free medical care. In the comfort of your own home. In the comfort of home. So you have nurses and stuff that go out there, traveling nurses? Or? Yeah, so visiting nurses and home health aid. So somebody that can take care of their non-medical needs also, like light housekeeping, mm -hmm. meal preparation, personal care. So um, another addition to that program is, you know, a lot of times we have folks that have a family member taking care of them. And due to all the duties at home, they're unable to, you know, work. Mm -hmm. So we also have a family home health aid program where we can bring on either their family member or a friend, um, have them go through our, tra our training and onboarding process and they can be hired as a paid family home health aid. Okay, so, so. the people here that may be involved with that are former test site workers, mm -hmm. people who worked for the Yucca Mountain Project, uh, yeah. Tonopah Tone test, test range, range. more people from uh, Beatty, but here also. And uh, yeah, there's a map with the different areas that your folks cover. Yeah. Uh, and there's one for Vegas. And uh, so anyway, those are the different areas where people have been affected. 
and you, you take care of uh, Downwinders also. Downwinders is a separate separate program. Is it? Okay. Yeah, so you know, while they may not qualify for home care, um, that's something I could review for Downwinders. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's a different process for them also. So tell me a little bit about what you do in the office over there. They, people come in there and... Yeah. So um, a lot of times, you know, folks have questions regarding their um, their benefits. Mm -hmm. And we do have a resource center in Flamingo in Las Vegas, and that's okay. the Department of Labor themselves. Um, but I know it's quite a travel for folks out here. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they might just have questions regarding where they are at their claim or what they might qualify for. They can stop by our office and we'd be happy to answer, answer any questions for them and point them in the right direction. And you, uh, you have hours that are business hours? Business right? hours, Monday through Friday. Okay. Yeah. And uh, once again, that's on Cross Street from Pedrick Park on, yeah. on Basin. Yeah. And the address was up there before, and it's up there again. So have you ever done this before with going up to the, uh, like the, uh, the senior center? Th did anybody besides myself contact you from that? Um, there's a, a few folks that, that did reach out. and. Um, we also service some seniors that live around that area too that come out to the lunches. Oh, okay. Yeah, that we're already taking care of. Have you done this in different uh, places in, in Peru? Or is this Reaching the first? Out? Yeah. Um, like you did with the senior centers? The senior centers, I, you know, we, we, we try to work with all the um, facilities here in Peru that service seniors. So. Could be anywhere, you know, okay. wherever wherever we're needed. Doctors' offices, hospitals that might have somebody that doesn't have home care yet. They're more than welcome to contact us too. I have home care, but that's for for different reasons. So yeah. I, I understand how important that is. I have respiratory um, uh, care, uh, physical therapy. I've had, and I understand how important it is when you have. Something wrong with you, like uh, your lungs, because I only have, um, it's a long story, but anyway, I have the respiratory therapy because of that, and it's a great help oh. to me. Yeah. And if you can get that from somebody, that for somebody, that would be a great help for them, too. Yeah. So do you have uh, a, a large clientele here in town yet? Um, we're, we're growing. We've, we've opened in Las Vegas um, almost three years ago. So we're steadily growing, and you know, we our first office was in Colorado. We opened here in um, Las Vegas, Nevada. We also have an office in New Mexico, and we're expanding to other states also. Oh, we didn't find out how you got started. Oh, how we got started. Yeah, so how did this all begin with your company? Yeah, so our founder, uh, Candice, um, she's a great granddaughter of a former test site worker okay. herself. And, you know, they were very close and, you know, towards the end of life, he was needing a lot of medical care. And she saw how much the impact of having a nurse and a home health aide at home really helped his quality of life. Because mm -hmm. without that program, you know, he may have spent his last few months or years in a facility, a long-term mm -hmm. care facility, um, or back and forth of the hospital. But because this program was here, he was able to stay home comfortably. And so and so that's why we started and you know, we, we take care of former workers the way we do, um, the way Johnny received quality care. And then she's the one that started the company then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she's from where? Where that's she's based in Colorado. Colorado, right now. okay. Yeah. That's why uh, you you had that site in Colorado. Yeah. Rocky Flats workers out there. Oh, yes. I'm yeah. I know about them too. So is there anything else that we should know about that uh, some of the services that you have that I, I can share with the people out there? Yeah. What you might do? Um, we also do host a uh, monthly breakfast <laughs> that's free for former workers. Oh. And in here in Parump we have it in um, El Jefe's restaurant. Okay. Um, on Calvada. Across okay. the helipad. So yes. we have it 
every first or every last Tuesday of the month. I'm sorry, at nine o'clock. So anybody's everybody's welcome to come. It's it's a family there. It's like a reunion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'll see familiar faces. Maybe you might even recognize some. You're more than welcome to come uh, too. No, they'll find out that I wasn't a full time worker. There. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Get out of here. And but yeah, that's one of the better eating establishments in, in town too. Yeah. Don't have these. And in addition to that, you know, for for former workers that did pass away, mm -hmm. there's also a survivor benefit for their spouse or their, um, you know, children. Mm -hmm. And ideally, we hopefully they can get their benefits while they're still around so they can enjoy it. But sometimes, unfortunately, they pass before they could ever receive any of those. But we could help with those too. We can connect them with the right people for, for a survivor benefit. So other than uh, going to the senior center and getting lucky with your, your free lunch, how do we find out about you? We find out about you through word of mouth from other people here. Yeah. And uh, if we're looking for, what would I be looking for online? Um, Survivors benefits for Nevada test site workers or? This there's more information on survivor benefits um, on the Department of Labor's website. Okay. So if you type in dol.gov and then you look into the Energy Employees Occupational Illness Compensation Program. That's the one I was section. looking for, Energy um, uh, Employees, yeah. yes. E-E-O-I-C-P-A. So yes, I remember that one. Yeah. So if you worked at the site, you have some issues. There's remuneration that for you there's help some home help if uh, you need that uh, you can go to the office on uh, Basin you can look for Ellie is it called I'm so trusted ally trusted ally is the, the way it is on online yeah okay get a look at that online trusted ally.com yes don't listen yeah. to John when he tells you <laughs> <laughs> But I want to thank you very much, uh, Karen, for, for coming here today and sharing thank this you. with us. And uh, we'll get back to you next week with other important uh, facets for the, the area. So thank you once again. Thank you for coming. Thank and you, John. We'll see you again. If I still am alive, it, it stopped. Oh. <laughs>